Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in University Park. University Park is located near St. Mary's University. And this is 354 Overhill. That's 354 Overhill. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. Was built in 15, I'm sorry, was built in 1949. It's approximately 1,581 square feet. Sits on about a 9,000 square foot lot. Exterior of this home is mostly wood. There is some rotted wood siding, so you're going to want to address that. Best thing about this home right now is it's about $17,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's probably one of the best buys in this area. It does have a detached one car garage. And you can see some of the siding here it has peeling paint. You're going to want to come around and replace some of the rotted wood and some of the peeling paint. You may have seen those people up front. It's not uncommon that we see that couple, in particular that guy, coming to some of these HUD homes. He'll come around and he will search the property for any kind of lost metal with his metal detector. So here we have the detached one-car garage. It is wood siding. And they actually finished out part of it. So as you can see, it does have kind of like a little stage area here. You do have uh, access parking for one car. And then this area here, a little bit of a storage area, a little bit of a closet. Uh, they did put some insulation in here. It is missing some insulation and it has a tin roof. So you want to come back and finish that out. Now the home does appear to have an addition on the back. This room here does appear to be an addition. Little kids playground area. There is an alley back here as well, so you do have a little bit of room between you and your neighbors. And I believe that this back part here was probably an addition. Look at that fruit tree citrus tree back here so exterior wise it's going to need a fresh coat of paint it's going to need some wood siding remove or repair or replace that rotted siding let's take a look at the inside well as we step up onto the porch you do see that it has a little porch area here probably want to paint that when we step in, we are immediately into your living room. So it's not a huge home. It's going to have basically one living area. It does have beautiful wood floors. It could probably be refinished to be really nice. You have a little seating area here right up front. And then if we turn to the right from the living room, we then have your dining area here. Dining area has tack down linoleum flooring. They put that over the original wood floor, so I would get rid of that. Through this passage here, we have your kitchen. So it's a long kind of galley style kitchen. It's going to need some ceiling work, but I do really like these cabinets. I think they're neat. Gonna probably, probably be able to salvage that. At the back of the kitchen, you have an additional room here. So this could even be like a little breakfast area at the back. And then this in turn steps down into what I believe is probably uh, part of an addition, as I said earlier. You have this kind of like a, could be a potential second living area. What's interesting about this space is you have connections for your washer and dryer here, as well as an electric dryer there. And then down in this area here, you have another uh, kind of a washer area. So this part, there's slanting a little. I would recommend probably having a foundation guy come out and look at it. You can see that they put a new type of ceiling in here, and then you have access to getting into the backyard out that door there. Now, one interesting thing, you do see that there's bathroom access there, but we're going to come to that from another side of the home. So we'll go back through the kitchen, back up front, through your little breakfast or dining area here, your living room. You have a coat closet here to the left, and then down the hallway here, and to the left we have bathroom number one. Bathroom number one is a single vanity. It also has a shower, so they converted this, it's a shower only. And the flooring, if you can see that ceramic tile, it does have some cracks. So I recommend if you have the foundation looked at, have them look at that because it's probably going to crack. So if we continue down the hallway, 
And to the left here, we have bedroom number two. I'm oh, sorry, bedroom number one. Bedroom number one, uh, as you can see in the closet, it does have those beautiful original wood floors. It probably could be redone. And this is not a particularly large bedroom. It's probably about a 12 by 10. It needs painting and flooring. Directly across from that is bedroom number two. I do like that this bedroom does have uh, three windows because it gives you a lot of natural lighting in here. It looks like they converted what used to be the closet in this area. And then over here, I do want to show you this little bit of settling there. So you do want to have probably the foundation looked at. And then there's another little closet there. So that's bedroom number two. And then down the hallway and to the left here, we have bedroom number three. Now, I would probably consider bedroom number three the master bedroom, even though the painting on the wall says otherwise, unless you really like SpongeBob. This room's going to need flooring and painting. And then back here is this probably the addition. This is bathroom number two right off of the master. It's a single vanity. It's a shower and tub combo. The subfloor here needs a lot of work. You can see the tile is broken, and there's even a hole down under the house right there next to the tub. So... Um, this could be a great home. Let me show you the ceiling. You're going to want to come back and insulate and redo all of the ceiling in here. It has a ton of potential. And if we go through this bathroom, then we're back in that rear room at the back of the house. But as I said, it's one of the cheapest priced homes in this area right now. There's a ton of potential and a bunch of new growth over here by St. Mary's University. And I think it could be a fantastic home. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 354 Overhill. That's 354 Overhill. A very nice three-bedroom, two-bath home that has a lot of potential. I do recommend having the foundation looked at because it's probably going to need to be leveled and then putting in a little bit of wood rot, some flooring, and painting. This home is, as I said, about $17,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's listed right now for only $71,200. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.